With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, here's our question. Figure shows three identical bulbs A, B and C. So here it is A, it is B and it is C. Connected to a battery of supply voltage V. So this is our battery having voltage equals to V. When the switch S is closed, discuss the change in the illumination of three bulbs, the power dissipated in the circuit. Okay, so we have to tell that when this switch is closed, what will be the change in illumination of three bulbs and power dissipated in the circuit. Okay, so the illumination of the bulb depends on the power consumed by the bulbs. Okay, so we will take two cases. First case, when the switch is open, in the second case when the switch becomes closed okay so first case when switch is open in the circuit we have these three bulbs and these three bulbs are connected in series combination because same current is flowing through these three bulbs okay so if these three bulbs are identical and connected in series so the potential difference across these three bulbs will be equals to v by 3 v by 3 and v by 3 Okay, so the power consumed by this bulb A will be equals to if resistance of all the three bulbs is R then power consumed will be equals to V square divided by 9 that is the square of potential difference divided by resistance. So resistance is R. Okay, similarly the power consumed by bulb B will be equals to V square divided by 9R and it is also same for this bulb C. Okay. So this is in first case. Okay. The total power consumed by these three bulbs will be equals to the sum of these three powers. Okay. So it is P total will be equals to PA plus PB plus PC. So that will be finally equals to V square divided by 3R. Okay. Now in second case when this switch becomes closed okay so this bulb C now become short circuited okay because the potential difference across this bulb is zero. So that is why the current flowing through this bulb becomes zero okay. Now we have only two bulbs and these two are connected in series so the potential difference across bulb A will be equals to V by 2. And the potential difference across bulb B will also be equals to V by 2 because both are identical. So the power consumed by bulb A will be equals to square of potential difference that is V square divided by 4 into R. Okay. And for bulb B it will be equals to V square divided by 4R. And for bulb C the potential difference is 0 that means the power consumed by bulb C will be equals to 0. Okay. So the total power consumed in the second case will be equals to PA plus PB plus PC that will be equals to V square divided by 2R. Okay. Now we have to compare the power consumed by these three bulbs in two cases. Okay. So for bulb A the power consumed in first case is V square divided by 9R and second case it is V square divided by 4R. Okay, so we have seen that PA is less than that is PA in first case is less than PA in second case because V square divided by 9R is less than V square divided by 4R. Okay, so the power consumed by bulb increases that means the illumination of bulb A increases. Okay. So illumination of bulb A increases and the values for bulb B are also same. That means the illumination of bulb B also increases. Okay. But for bulb C, the power consumed in first case is V square divided by 9R but in second case it is 0. So so bulb C will not glow in second case. Okay. So illumination decreases or we can say that illumination becomes zero. Okay. 
and the total power also increases because v square divided by 2r is greater than v square divided by 3r okay so the power consumed or the power dissipated in the circuit is also increases so that's our solution for this question thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today